Hi everybody, Fox Nomad here and today I want to help you travel smarter by giving you some of my impressions of Baghdad, Iraq, traveling here after being here for a couple of days and I just wanted to show you around the book market so I'm standing right outside of that and I wanted to give you an idea of what it's like to travel here, what my experience has been like because for me personally it's been pretty surprising and I think it will surprise you too. So I'm here on a Saturday, which is the second day of the market where it's busy. It's usually open on Fridays and Saturdays and then most of the rest of the week. This is a pretty quiet place. There aren't this many people because the week has begun. The weekends here are Friday and Saturday. It's about 11 in the morning and it's starting to get pretty hot. It's going to be about 40, 42 degrees today Celsius, which is very hot and the sun because it's not very humid, you don't really sort of notice it. But after a couple of hours of being out in the heat, you really do notice that it is quite hot and it can sort of wear on you as the day goes on. So yeah, so this market is just starting to get started throughout the day. There are a lot of books here. This is Mutanabi Street. So you can find all kinds of things as the bazaar is open, but especially here on this street, a lot, a lot of books. One of the first things you might be thinking about is safety and how safe it is here. I'm going to make a separate video about that and talk a little bit about that in this video. But from my impressions, that was one of the first things, one of the first questions I had before I got to Baghdad. But to be honest, after I've been here for a few days, one thing that really, really stands out. So the one thing I have to say that stands out to me is just how friendly people are and what a travel experience this is. Everybody comes up to you to talk. Everybody's super nice. There are no scams or weirdness. Just people are very genuine here. It's a very authentic travel experience. And if you've seen some of my other videos in places like in Pakistan, for example, because there is real no tourism here, the tourism industry is at the very, 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 very beginning. People treat you like a visitor, like a guest, and you really feel that here. And it makes just your time here just so much warm and more you just feel almost like a part of the place because you get such a warm welcome and everybody is really really friendly so I'd have to say before I got here one of the first things I was thinking about is safety and yes it is a concern here I would say it's not dangerous here but it is risky so after you've been here for just a day or two you realize what the situation is like on the ground people are just very nice and friendly and there's a lot of hope for the future here Another impression that I can add is that the food here is really good. There is a large variety of different cuisines, different tastes, different fruits and vegetables and all kinds of unique things that I didn't expect. I guess my expectation based on when I was in North Iraq 10 years ago was it's going to be a lot of shawarma sandwiches but cuisine here is really a lot more varied than that. It is one of the best cities to eat that I've been to and it is just really again another surprising aspect of being here. Now another one of my impressions from being here after a few days is that it's pretty easy to get around because you have Kareem or Bolt which are the local Ubers and you can just call them up and they'll take you pretty much where you want to go. It's inexpensive and it's pretty easy because you don't really have to communicate with the driver because it's all through the app so it's easy to get around and once you're on the ground walking around again there are markets it is hectic it can get really crowded but aside from that just walking around like it's really easy and just having my camera out for example I don't feel like people are I don't feel like out of place or that people are looking at me in a, in a weird way it's just people are curious and coming up and talking to me but it's just kind of a it's kind of a very comfortable feeling which is very surprising considering the history or the recent history of this city you could just kind of wander around and take a look at all of these markets and all these places before any tourists arrive so I haven't seen a single tourist since I've been here or at least a single tourist that I could recognize since I've been here so it is a very unique travel experience <laughs> All right, so when I talk about friendliness, I was just talking to some guys sitting next to me who were just showing me pictures from where they're from, and it happens very, very often, so it's a really nice experience. But to talk about safety and just comfort, just walking around, it really is comfortable, but like I said, 
there is some risk in traveling here and I'm sitting in a cafe actually which is a good sort of embodiment of that. So in 2007 there was a car bomb here which killed a lot of people and five of the owner's sons and so those pictures are on the wall and this place being open now and here now is kind of a testament to the resilience of this place but also a reminder that it may not be totally out of the woods so this may not be the travel destination for everybody may not be the travel destination for most people but I think I think I can see it potentially growing into something more and there are more tours being run here there are more tourists coming here and it is a really interesting place and if you've seen some of my other videos there are places that are just opening up to tourism and you really do feel like the first person to ever visit the place and I kind of feel like that here and it's a really nice experience just sitting in this cafe people are coming up and talking to me curious about where I'm from what I'm doing here and overall it's just very very welcoming and this cafe has some of the best shisha around and some great tea and it's just like a local hangout spot and uh, of course the pictures inside and the decor is really nice so again a really nice experience having tea at that cafe and some shisha there as well really friendly people coming up and talking to me and where we couldn't understand each other obviously we have technology on our side to be able to talk into the phone and get translations which was pretty cool and I was able to have conversations with people using some words in Arabic I know some Turkish words they know some English words and Google helping us along the way so it was just really nice another thing I'll say about impressions here aside from the fact that it is really easy surprisingly easy to get around even though the city figuring it out can take a little bit of time so figuring out where everything is and obviously you have to go around checkpoints and it does kind of divert traffic just a little bit in fact like this boat right here you can see that it only goes from one bridge to the other bridge and those are old standing rules for safety and security they're not allowed to drive their boats under the bridges but otherwise once you get a general idea of kind of where things are in relation to where you are in relation to your hotel it's pretty easy to get around and to figure out where everything is walking around is super easy like it's totally just normal and you know not difficult at all and you don't feel out of place and people aren't staring at you you're not getting bad looks or anything like that so again really easy to get around Another thing I can say I've noticed when it comes to traveling in Baghdad is that the prices for things vary widely. So when it comes to accommodation, the hotels are gonna be pretty expensive for what you might expect. Yeah, they have budget hotels, and they do have some medium class hotels, but in general, if you want good Wi-Fi, you're gonna be paying a lot of money. So if you want a hotel that's sort of in the nicer class, you're gonna be paying around $200 a night. That's about where you're gonna start, and then it's gonna go up from there. The medium-sized hotels and the budget hotels are going to be closer to the middle of the city, but they're not going to be as nice. So I would say that the bar for hotels here is pretty sort of moderate. In other words, if you want a nicer experience, you want to be a little bit more comfortable, you're going to have to pay more than you might expect in some other cities. But it gives you kind of a false impression because when you get food here or when you get a taxi, those things are relatively inexpensive compared to the hotel prices. So for example, I just got a tea. It costs like maybe 30 cents. You can get a meal easily here for a couple of dollars. You can get a huge carp meal, like one of the biggest meals. We've got three kilos of fish and a massive spread of food. And that's about $20. It's a little bit less than $20. So you can see that the prices are for what you're getting are pretty inexpensive. So there really is a big divide between hotel prices and then the prices for everything else. Now, when it comes to tours and tour guides, those I find are a little bit pricier than you would expect and find pretty much anywhere else in the world. And I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that there's not a lot of competition here. So your choice of guides is not very wide. There's not a whole bunch of tour companies. So the prices are gonna be more expensive than you'd find other places because that tourism industry isn't well established. You don't have a lot of competition. But now that Iraq has opened up with a visa on arrival for many, many countries, I would say, honestly, for $100 minus the hotel with food, you can get by for a couple of days on that. It's a pretty inexpensive place to travel. And you're not gonna be limited by cost because you can get a lot of really good food. You can see a lot of really good things and you can just have a lot of good experiences for not a lot of money. It's just one of the more amazing things about traveling here and it's one of the more amazing things about traveling here right now 
when it is just at the like tip on the very start of tourism here. So the country has now gotten just stable enough to where tourism is a possibility here. There's definitely a vibe of people, especially young people who are really excited about the future. They really feel like things are going in the right direction, things are improving. And I think that really shows in the enthusiasm of people, but also the fact that tourism is opening up here and people want people to come and visit. And I think in a couple of years, you're going to find more and more travelers and tourists visiting here. And I think it has the potential to being a very popular, even offbeat tourist destination. So there you go, those are some of my first impressions of traveling in Baghdad. If it seems a little bit all over the place, that's because that's the impression that I'm getting. It's not what I expected at all. It's really open and there are a lot of people here who take pride in the sort of educational and the literature history of this city there. It's really evident, when, especially when you come down here into the book streets, the book markets, and there's a real pride in knowledge and exchanging ideas like you saw at the cultural event and it is just a really fascinating place to travel. It's absolutely beautiful. Some of the architecture here is just incredible. The people are very nice and friendly. The food is so different and not what I expected. There's so many different flavors, so many different fruits and vegetables and spices that are all mixed in unique combinations that make for a really unique cuisine, really unique cuisine profile for this city. So it sounds kind of weird, but it's kind of a foodie town and it's also a very vibrant city and there's a lot of hope and optimism here. And although it may not be on everybody's list for travel destinations right now, I could see things changing in a couple of years because there is a lot to see and a lot to do here and you'll get a big warm welcome when you do. So I hope this video gives you an idea of what it's like to travel in Baghdad. But if you have any questions, you can let me know down in the comments below. And while you're down there, hit the like and subscribe buttons. I'll have new videos for you every week from Iraq and beyond. So make sure you don't miss those. So hit that subscribe button. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. So another impression that I can add is that the food here is really good. Like it's very varied and very big and then you're not going to be limited and you're not going to be limited by cost and you're not going to be limited by 